morning everyone today in our video session we are going to talk about a very interesting subject psychological subject social subject human nature subject this is known as frenemy friend plus enemy two characteristics combined in one person a bad friend we can say this word was coined by Jessica Mitford. Jessica Mitford was young at the time. Her father asked her, why don't you invite your friends, girl's friend of your age? So they are not my friend, they are my frenemy. Frenemy means a person who acts, behaves, and they treat you like a friend, but, but inside, inside his hidden feeling or her hidden feelings are not in your favor. So from outside, that person is your friend, but inside that person is your foe, your enemy. So friend plus enemy, they have actually combined this word in friend and me. So most of the time we notice in this world that 99% of the people who come in contact with us, they act, react as a behave as friends, real, genuine, defective, the dual, authentic, reliable friend. But later on we find out that that person was not a friend, but a friend and me. That person has some kind of ultra motive, some kind of altruistic, some kind of selfish reason behind acting like a friend. And eventually that friend actually exposes herself or his, himself and true color emerges. True personality and true persona emerges and then we find out we regret that the person has played with our money, our emotion, our trust, our friendship and every single thing. And finally, like a migratory bird, that person actually flies away from our life and finds shelter somewhere else or in someone else's life. These kinds of people who have, who have one personality overtly, other personality covertly, one personality in open, other personality in, in their heart, in close. These kind of people are known as friend plus enemy. Both the personality, both the characteristics, both the persona are combined in one person known as friend me. So I have prepared you know, four points for friend enemies. And these are first is friend enemy is the one who is friend overtly, openly, but for enemy covertly. So overtly, you know, that person is going to call us and talk to us and very sweet and very serenading and uh, uh, promises of all kinds of things and promises of bringing the moon on your planet and every single sacrifice is the person is going to make for you just because that person is going to win your confidence, win your trust, win your faith in you. And once faith and friendship, every single thing is one, that person is going to reveal his or her real de facto identity. So this person is friend only overtly, but covertly inside his heart. That person is our adversary, our antagonist, our enemy, or our foe. He was acting or she was acting like friend just to have some kind of fish to fly, some kind of ultra motive, some kind of selfish intent, altruistic reason. That is why that person was playing with you or playing you as friend. But in the heart of her heart, heart of his heart, 
That person was not your friend, but your enemy. But we can say, like Proverbs, friends of fair weather. When these kinds of friends can achieve something out of you, get something from you, get some kind of sacrifices, some kind of you know, money from you, they're your friend. But actually their hunger is satisfied, their thirst is quenched. They will fly away from your life, leave you in lurch, leave you in total lurch. Number two is one who is sweet as honey, but overtly, bitter as hell, covertly. In open, that person is like honey comb. That person has nothing but sweet things to say. Nothing but serenade your personality, serenade your choice, serenade your ideas, serenade your ideals, serenade everything about you, serenade your culture, serenade your religion, serenade your character. But only overtly. In covertly, they don't like you. They hate your guts. They disdain you day in and day out. These are the frenemies. Point number third is number three we were talking about is the one. The enemy is the one who serenades your quality and the character, but overtly. Covertly, that person is going to disdain you, despise you, and vilify you. Overtly, openly, this person is going to admire you, praise you, like you are the Prince Charming or Daily God on this planet or angel, descended from the heaven. This is only his charade, his gestures, his altruistic serenation. Serenading is all altruistic. He doesn't serenade you from the bottom of his heart or her heart, but it is something else. That something else is his ultra motive. Altruistic reasons are actually forcing that person to serenade your characters and the character states. But in your absence, that person is going to say all kinds of bad things, vilification, bad mountain, all kinds of character assassination. Because that person is not your true enemy, but Frenemy. Frenemy. Frenemies have two faces. One face is to show, other face to hide. One face is to show overtly, other face is to hide covertly. So, this kind of altruistic friends are going to admire you, serenade you, praise you. They are going to have nothing but sweet like Honey-like sweetness in their language. Honey-like sweetness in their language. But that is all fake. Every single thing is fake. No fact. Point number four is one who has every single thing, everything good for you, everything normal for you. Because this person is frenemy. He is altruistic. From inside, Truistic is only charade, imposter person, imposter. He's playing like he is your friend only overtly because he is frenemy. Whatever overtly his behavior, his action, reaction, diction, every single thing is all charade, shenanigans, symbolic. Because he's altruistic person, he wants something from you. He is not truistic. He doesn't need your friendship, doesn't need your company, but he needs either your money, either some kind of other favors that person wants from you. And that favor is actually motivating that person to be altruistic frenemy. So frenemies are always remember, frenemies are those who are friends of fair weather. As long as they are going to derive some kind of benefits out of you, altruistic benefits out of you, they are going to be your friend. But 
If you seize, you stop favoring them with any kind of your money or your knowledge or your any kind of favors. You stop your favor, you seize your favor that this kind of enemies are going to leave you, not leave you quietly, but they leave you and they are going to proliferate, disseminate, spread, made rumor about you, character assassination, whoever they are going to meet, they are going to speak bad things about you, they are going to destroy you, they are going to destroy your image, they are going to destroy your name and your fame, because one reason that they did not succeed in their altruistic achievements, they wanted for example some money and you said no, they are gone without not without hurting you or harming you. But they will leave quietly and speak every bad things about you. To everyone they are going to meet. They are going to character assassinate you. They are going to persona assassinate you. Personality assassinate you. All kinds of rumor, all kinds of canards. They are going to disseminate in the society, among the peers, just because you did not favor him or her. So guys and girls, remember, look out for your frenemy. Before getting into depth of the friendship, you first analyze the person what kind of motive that person has. If the person has chaste motive, noble motive, he or she is your best lifetime friend. But if the person has ultra motive, altruistic intentions, getting advantage of you, milking you, taking undue advantage, then this person is going to hurt you every step of the way. And they are not going to hurt you biologically or physiologically, but they are going to hurt you psychologically, socially, emotionally, every which way they are going to destroy you. So keep these kinds of frenemies at bay, according to Jessica Bifford, who has actually given this word. He, she has coined this word. That's all the time we have. Thank you very much for listening. God bless you all.